everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 29, and this is war number six, I believe. And we're going up against an alliance called Planet of the Symbiotes. Now, Ghost Dog told me this was his alliance. So we're going up against Ghost Dog. We're in the same battle group, he told me. All right, so let's go ahead and spectate first. Now, as you can see, I'm in a new alliance. Uh, more on that later. But I was allowed to take my regular path, path three. Now, I know that might disappoint some people that were hoping for a little bit of a, you know, variety or a change up in my team. But for me uh, and for the Alliance, I think that is great because I'm already familiar with this path and I already have champions ranked up uh, to deal with this path okay so we don't have a defender on that second node but the first one is immortal hulk i'll probably use uh nick fury uh for that one there let me see okay da, da, da. an active armor up mm. gotta remember that we're in a different tier here Okay, so I might see shock debuff. Hmm. Might want to bring someone in that is shock immune then. So, who? I'll have to think about that one. Um I was going to bring in uh Nick Fury, but if they have an active armor up, I could probably take this with Claire. But she would, uh, she could nullify the armor up and maybe prevent the uh, shock. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We're going to be uh, trying things. And, of course, the mini is Wasp, preferably somebody who, again, is either shock immune or... Um, let me see, Strike Counter Fury. Whew, yeah, she can wreck you real fast with that, too. Um, someone who can handle that evade would be nice. And I don't know how, you know, I'm learning. This is the first war uh, that I'm doing with this alliance here. Uh, we got Sentinel there. And i um, not sure if I were asked to do that Sentinel. Again, preferably somebody that is shock immune. Maybe, maybe I'll start bringing Doom. We'll see. Got to think about it. And then we've got uh, Hyperion. Of course, you know, I would do that fight with Claire. And we've got an Invisible Woman. Let me take a look at this node. Make sure. Okay. Make sure nothing uh, surprising. And uh, we got Invisible Woman, who's annoying. Ugh, evade. But uh, Nick Fury should be able to handle that fight. And Silver Surfer. That buffet. Uh, Warlock. If I bring my Warlock, can handle that fight. And then uh, Mini Boss Island, we got Nick Fury. Claire could do that one. Apocalypse. That one. Mm. Warlock could do that fight. And um, Sorcerer Supreme. Nick Fury can do that fight if need be. And then down at the bottom here. Uh, that fight. Uh, Guillotine 2099. If I had to take that one. Hmm, probably, ugh, safeguard, oh, they are evil putting her on there. Yeah, I'll try to avoid that fight, but, you know, Claire maybe, or a uh, Warlock uh, could do that. Yeah, ugh. And then we've got uh, Spider-Ham over there. 
eh, Nick Fury could do that fight if need be. And Professor X. Again, Nick Fury or Warlock might be able to do it. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then we've got Magneto as the boss. All right. I got a little thinking to do. You know, I got to decide, do I want to bring in Warlock? Um, or did I want to bring in uh, Doom? Just because he's shock immune, he'd be able to take that Immortal Hulk. He wouldn't have a problem with that Wasp and uh, that Sentinel he'd also be able to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who would be uh, better. I'm thinking who wa uh, Warlock could take here. I was looking forward to bringing in Warlock, but uh, Doom might be the better play for this here. Or I might just uh, see how well, um, how fast I could take him down uh, with Nick Fury. Yeah, that might be the play. All right, let's uh, get to the fighting. All right, so I'm excited because this is the first war I'm bringing my newly ranked up Warlock to war. I replaced my five-star Warlock with my six-star rank three Warlock, even though my six-star rank three Warlock is not awakened. But I am planning on awakening him. I have a tech awakening gem and I've got some six stones to give him, so it's going to happen. Just waiting for a tech advancement uh, to come around. All right, so this first fight, you can see the nodes, uh, the buffs that we're going to be dealing with here. Uh, nothing, you know, too crazy. And it's going to be Immortal Hulk that we're dealing with. Now, uh, he can be tricky, especially because he has that uh, immortality and... Uh, I've gotten caught by him, especially when he just got to the contest. He wrecked me. I was like, what in the world? Why is he, why is he, you know, immortal? How long is this going to last? What's going on? Uh, but I have a handle on it now. I know that he will not go immortal if he has under a certain number of charges. I forget what number those are, but that's why I'm taking in uh, Nick Fury. So I'm letting the bleeds do as much work as I possibly can. You know, if I can bleed him out, great. If not, then I'll just have to dance around until his immortality is over. But that's why you see me doing, uh, you know, the five hit combo and then backing off, just waiting. See how I'm just sitting there waiting a little bit, trying to let the bleeds do as much work as possible. All right, and then here we go. Boom, didn't have to worry about his immortality. So we played that one perfectly. Didn't have to worry about the immortality. We can move on. So far, so good. Um, I believe this is the first war that I've been doing with my new alliance, Bishop. Uh, I believe this is the first war uh, since I switched over. All right, so next fight is gonna be Wasp. Now, Wasp is dangerous. She does a lot of damage. She doesn't have a lot of health. But if you blink, just blink, she will hit you, stun you, and kill you in just one quick move. You know, five hit combo, four hit combo, into a heavy, and you're done. So I brought in Nick Fury again because I don't want to deal with, you know, messing up if... She does catch me like that, I know I have an extra life. That's one of the biggest benefits to bringing in Nick Fury to me. He does great damage, but I have that buffer, you know, that little safety net. You know, it's it's like having an invulnerability boost on, um, at least while the uh, life model decoy is still active. So as you saw, 
we were able to take down uh, Wasp without any uh, difficulty. All right, we got to the middle. And as usual, I usually do not mess with the middle there. Uh, we generally have other folks to uh, take the middle, even in my old alliance. And it looks like it's the same here. All right, so came back, middle is cleared. On to section two, where I also take uh, path three. And first fight is gonna be Hyperion. Hyperion! And the worry when you're fighting Hyperion is always, is he gonna fire his specials or is he gonna just go right to a special three? Fold his arms in that B-boy stance and just hit you with a special three. Well, I could go in, since the life model decoy is still up, I can go in with Nick Fury. And if he does go to a special three, who cares? But I had a plan. I was planning on taking the uh, mini. So I popped in an invulnerability boost. And with that, I can just go ham. It doesn't really matter uh, who I bring in as long as, you know, I just go ham. Even if he goes to a special three, it won't matter. You know, as long as I don't mess up, as long as I don't get hit up you know, caught by his heavy or something like that, and then get hit by the special three, um, which has happened before. But for right now, we're good. You know, stripped away his power gain so he wasn't able to get to a special three quickly, and we took him down before he managed to get to a special three. But I was expecting that this invulnerability boost um, wasn't for him, but it was there if I needed it. All right, now we got Invisible Woman. Now, I like fighting Invisible Woman with Nick Fury because when she's bleeding, her invisibility uh, doesn't last as long. All right, so as long as I got a bleed on her, even when she goes invisible, it'll go out. And I like that. Uh, there was a node I remember uh, facing her on where I got into a situation, she was stun immune, I had little health, she was uh, invisible, and I could not do anything. I was trying to bait out a heavy, she wouldn't fire a heavy off, and in order to get rid of the invisibility, I had to at least try to hit her, but I knew as soon as I did that, I was gonna go bye-bye. All right, now, we're gonna fight Silver Surfer on this mini. And finally, we're gonna see some Warlock action. All right, so you see the nodes we have to deal with. And I'm thinking, let's just build up, you know, parry, build up the infections uh, so he can't heal and we should be good. Now, for some reason, my parries weren't working properly. All right, now I need you guys to tell me something. Uh, and I may have figured it out by the time you see this, but why was I taking damage every time I parried? That really messed me up because of course I wanted to parry to build up the, uh, you know, infections, to keep the infections up very quickly. All right, now look at this. My health is like just getting chipped away and all I'm doing is parrying. So I wanna know why, you know, that's something new. And then I get caught here, you know, I still had that indestructible, but what's taking my life are these parries. And I was like, I, I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on, all right? And so I'm like, okay, well, I should still be able to do it, you know, hit him with a, a heavy and get these bleeds on him, all right? Evaded that, we're doing good. He's almost gone, and then no block. It didn't block, it didn't go back, it just stood there. And I was sitting here looking at this like, wow. So I don't know why I was taking the damage, and then it just refused to, to do anything. And after I did such a wonderful evade of his special two, suddenly, nothing. You can see I was looking through here 
Um, and I'm guessing it's one of those. I don't know. Is it high ground? I'm not sure what was going on. Uh, so let me know uh, in the comments below. But I go back in, you know. Now, I didn't get any damage there. All right. I, I didn't see any damage there. So, you know, I, I was a little confused. I was a little confused over why I was taking that damage. Um, but anyway, that is it for my participation in this war. And we'll be back in a moment. And you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. We did get all three bosses down, full exploration. Uh, that should be our minimum uh, to go for. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Hopefully we will uh, start winning our wars. I looked at their history since I'm new to the Alliance, and they do have some wins. Uh, so they're looking better than uh, my previous Alliance did uh, last season. Uh, we are currently Platinum 4, and we might be able to get Platinum 3. We'll find out. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.